judges are suggesting draconian disciplines for web-based social networking clients who share posts that mix up contempt against racial, religious or sexual minority gatherings. Under proposed new guidelines, web trolls who offer or remark on supremacist or against gay postings will confront the half-year in prison. Pundits say that the proposition mean imprudent put on could bring about jail sentences, appears as though Orwell's 1984 is really here. The Mail Online reports, anyone who is sentenced to originating despised discourse that debilitates anybody's life or which is generally circulated ought to expect three years. Indeed, even somebody whose words or material were judged as contemptuous, yet were not considered to have debilitated life or contacted a major group of onlookers, is probably going to be rebuffed with a year in prison. Be that as it may. Fault finders say the recommendations will mean youngsters who thoughtlessly toss affronts against racial, religious or sexual gatherings on the web are in danger of jail sentences. The proposals, which will be liable to a three-month discussion, come during a period of extending affectability to bigotry and manhandle about sexuality on the web. Over long-standing worries about material posted by fanatics, Allegations have been leveled against those in standard legislative issues and other surely understood people. Work party figures have been blamed for hostile to Semitism, while veteran women's activists Germaine Greer and gay rights and free discourse campaigner Peter Tatcha are among the individuals who have been marked as abhor vendors for scrutinizing the cases of the transgender anteroom. Blending up disdain is a wrongdoing under the 1986 Public Order Act. The board's recommendations say the most genuine detest offenses incorporate talks given by open figures with the point of mixing up scorn, online substance impelling savagery towards racial or religious gatherings, and sites that distribute oppressive and offending material to an overall group of onlookers over a long stretch. Irritating elements incorporate movement in an especially touchy social atmosphere or conveyed to a susceptible group of onlookers. Utilizing numerous web-based social networking stages likewise makes an offense more grave. Teacher Anthony Gleese, executive of the Center for Security and Intelligence Studies, depicted the rules as strange, saying they were not sufficiently strict where they ought to be strict, excessively serious where more noteworthy tolerance is called for. Just three years for to test discourse that prompts individuals getting murdered? Strangely delicate, he said. However. A half year for despised trolling? Are there enough GL spots to bold up these despised trolls? He said the law expected to recognize youthful and absurd people who say senseless things and extremely hazardous radicalizers and purveyors of viciousness who abuse the web based social networking to wreak ruin and passing.